when a new version of Version Dog is released and you have downloaded the setup, the first thing you need to do is update the server. Then you can use Smart Update to distribute the update of the Version Dog client applications to all your client computers. After you update the server, clients will need to be updated to the same new version in order to connect to the server. So let's update the server software on this server. OK, I've already downloaded the new zipped setup package to another computer and I'm copying it to this server before unzipping it. It's important to leave it zipped to avoid interference by firewalls and other security measures. OK, now it's on the server, I can unzip it. So, nearly ready to run the update, but before an update can start, the VDOG master service has to be stopped if it's running. You can either let the setup attempt to do that automatically, or you can do it manually. That's what I'll do now, and it's what we generally recommend. Open services, click on any service, hit the V key, that usually does it. Yes. OK. Stop. Right. I'll just open the folder. And now it's not agent setup that we need. We need to scroll down. And this is what we're looking for. Setup.exe. Now, this is important. Definitely run as administrator. Install. Yes. Install server applications. Now the setup will detect that the server software is already installed. Yes, there we go. And update. Program files default. Next. Now the server software is being updated. The migration step can take a long time if you're updating from a version of version dog that is older than seven. In other words, if you're updating from anything that begins with a six or less to anything that begins with a seven or more, then you'll need to do the update when you'll be able to leave the migration to run to completion. Now we've finished updating the server software and it's time to update the client applications on this computer. Just launch any client application and Smart Update will be triggered when I try to log in with this version of the user client after having updated the server software to this version. There it is. Do you want to update the version of client applications on this computer now? Yes. Now for this to work, you need to be logged in with administrative rights to the computer that you are updating. For users who do not have administrative rights, the update will have to be done for them on their computers by someone who does have those rights. Or you might like to ask us about our semi-automated solution. Contact our Vasi support for details. OK. So now Smart Update has updated all the client applications on this computer. And there we see the new version number. And on the first launch after an update, the help appears open at the What's New page.